I just wanted to use this opportunity to thank all my pupils. You really are making me proud. I'm traveling around and seeing you work out there. And I've been teaching for many years and I've searched for ways how to explain things to the people living now. I want to, uh, to preserve the, a part of European cultural heritage. But it's only possible if we can make people now living live it. Art is not putting a, a violin on the wall and write a big sign under it, Mozart. It's only Mozart if somebody is able to play it. And the art of writing, somebody must become an artist, otherwise it doesn't work. And especially our groundwork and our launching, we have had so good development over the last year. I couldn't imagine what happened to the art as we started this work. And I see people, very normal people, who are still not able to have the most fantastic seat. But they are able to learn to communicate with horses. That they, from the ground, are getting up a, a horse that listens to them, that is interested in them, that is getting into dialogue. You see, art of riding is like dancing. It's a gentleman leading a lady, it's a lady letting herself lead. And the horse who opened its mind and enjoyed just to be together with the person, with a, a pupil, really makes a, a beautiful picture. Now the groundwork and the handwork has, uh, and the launching has reached a level where I couldn't imagine it to go some years ago. And we are able to just with a launch to co educate a horse complete, which we didn't believe in were possible just some 10 years ago, or not even 10 years, perhaps only five years ago. And when I get around and see people making the tests, the groundwork and launch test, it's quite amazing from little Shetland ponies to big Shire horses to everything in between how intelligent horses are. Just because they do not have a fantastic physically ability doesn't mean that they're dumb. They mean that they can still have a dialogue with you, that they are very smart and, and can communicate. And communication, when it gets really fine, it gets poesy. So a poetic dialogue between a human and a horse is a very beautiful thing that happen. We just have a little problem, because when you make your horses so fine, and your seat is still not educated, and the horse has started to believe in what you tell, and then you're then sitting up there and not able to be in control of your seat, and tell the same fine story with the seat, we of course, there we have little problems, I must admit. But I think that's luxury problems. Luxury problems having a horse being so fine, that uh, you really have to work hard then to be that precise with your seat. So in that case, we have to start calm, developing your body awareness, being a communication with the horse. But even there, I see people being able, educating themselves. So I'm really, really happy about the development we are having here the last year. So thank you very much. See you out there.